Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Atlanta, Georgia, it's time for Atlanta Business Radio. Brought to you by OnPay, Atlanta's new standard in payroll. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, another episode of Atlanta Business Radio, and this is going to be a fun one. But before we get started, it's important to recognize our sponsor, OnPay. Without them, we couldn't be sharing these important stories. Today on Atlanta Business Radio, we have Andrew Talby with Lime Painting. Welcome, Andrew. Thank you. Well, I'm excited to learn what you're up to. Tell us a little bit about Lime Painting. Yeah, Lime Painting is a a national paint company based out of Denver, Colorado. Uh, It's very value-based. they are very active in supporting uh, 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 charities uh, of different, uh, mostly youth uh, and faith-based organizations, um, and they're expanding rapidly uh, across the U.S. And I'm, I'm actually the first franchise owner here in Georgia. So, what's your backstory? Um, how'd you get involved in this line of work? Uh, well, I came out of college playing professional sports. I was a baseball player. I was drafted in the the second round by the giants coming out of college. Uh, I played for five years and and blew out my shoulder. And, uh, the first instinct for me was to go into something financial. Uh, I went into financial planning and, and, uh, realized I didn't get into it at the right time and, and didn't really like it. So I went into, uh, telecommunications, which, uh, I've been in that for the last, uh, 12 or 13 years or so. Um, I've basically, uh, sat at a desk and talked to people, uh, locally and also around the world. But, uh, I realized that I wanted to be more outside and, and doing something to give back to the community. Uh, line painting came along after a thorough search of, of different franchises that were service-based and, uh, it was since it's value-based and giving back, it, it was very intriguing to my wife and myself. And, uh, that's kind of how we landed on it. Can you share a little bit about going through the process of choosing a franchise? Because once you kind of make that decision, okay, I'm going to go franchise as a, uh, you know, kind of a career path, there's infinite uh, possibilities. And how did you um, narrow it down and, and how did you ultimately land on Lyme? Did you have help or was this something you did on your own? Sure. That's a great question. Uh, so there are a couple of different ways you can go about getting into a franchise. Uh, one, you can just walk by a, a franchise and they'll, they'll have a sign out there that says interested in being a franchise. Uh, that's a kind of a limited way of looking at it. Um, you can also uh, just look up franchises on the internet. Uh, and once you do that, you'll probably have a bunch of franchise brokers reaching out to you. And that's what happened with me. Uh, I had a franchise broker come out. They interview you, uh, ask you what your likes and dislikes are, what your hobbies uh, what you're interested in. And, and then they bring back four or five different uh, choices of national franchises. Uh, then you sit there and vet those out over a couple of weeks. Then you go out on discovery day for the two or three that you like, and then you ultimately make a decision and uh, sign the paper. Now, did you, uh, like, how'd you get into painting? Like, was that in your radar when you first started where you're like, it's probably going to be a painting uh, franchise. Actually, no, uh, that, that was one of the first questions the broker asked me is because have you ever thought about going into the painting business? Um, so no, uh, actually the, the franchises that came our way were a little bit different based on our backgrounds. Uh, we were looking for something that was service based that didn't have any uh, physical location overhead or lots of it. Um, but, uh, they came up with different ones that were, uh, one of them was, uh, seniors helping seniors where you have uh, the older community, the helping seniors in need. Uh, one of them was a, uh, uh, water restoration business, uh, lime painting was one. And then one was, was called D one training. It was a, it was actually a gym where people, uh, of either high school age or college age can go and work out with a professional trainer. So then what were some of the questions they asked you to kind of narrow it down and ultimately choose Lyme? Oh, they ask you about your background. um, What are your attitudes towards uh, owning overhead? How much you want to spend? What your net worth is? Things of that nature. And then what was the, like, so what put it over the top for you where Lyme Lyme was the right choice? Uh, Well, Lyme was a service business uh, that allowed me to be outside most of the day. 
Uh, it's it's a need that's uh, COVID proof, uh, recession proof, because every, everywhere you look, uh, is a, a coding needs to be placed somewhere, uh, whether it's in a commercial building uh, or a home. Uh, so it's it's something that always needs to happen. Um, and their value system, uh, you know, LIME stands for love, integrity, mission, and excellence. It, it just spoke to us. So now um, tell us about the actual LIME services. You mentioned that you do can work uh, commercial or residential. Can you talk about the types of services that you offer? Sure. Uh, so LIME is traditionally a painting company. Uh, with painting comes a lot of different things, uh, including exterior, interior, commercial, residential. Uh, you also have different surface, service, uh, surfaces like uh, wood, metal, uh, stamped concrete, uh, we'll also do restoration services, uh, say if like a gutter's leaking uh, or if, if you have rot uh, on your house, we'll go in and replace all that for you uh, with quality and, and custom and premier products. So we do a good job and do it right. So now as um, part of the mission of Lime is not only to do great work, but it's also to serve the community. So how, how do you plan on serving the Atlanta community? Oh, great question. Uh, so my wife and I have been uh, involved in a, a charity called uh, Lighthouse Family Retreats. Uh, it's a charity that focuses on giving uh, families that have children with cancer uh, some time away, uh, like a vacation. Uh, so what we do is we raise money for that organization and then go and serve. Uh, we serve those families while they're on vacation. So they have a little time off, a little break from the normal day to day and uh, have time to enjoy uh, some of the, the cooler things in life, usually on a beach. So now in your previous work, you've worked uh, for larger organizations. Is this the first time you've kind of been the boss and this is your own entrepreneurial venture? Uh, it's the first time I've been the boss in something this, this big as, as an organization. Uh, I've owned little companies, LLCs before that have, uh, you know, done things like hold uh, rental properties and stuff like that. But yeah, this is the first time I've had employees uh, and, and managed sales teams. So yes. So how has uh, that adventure been? Because that's a different skill set, right? To lead yourself or, you know, manage your own time and your own uh, kind of the outcomes that you desire versus now leading an organization and, and training people to get ready to serve and also to be able to create that culture that so that your employees understand, you know, the why behind what you do. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I've, I've always been a part of teams uh, where I've either been the lead, but uh, this is just a little bit different because it's, it's, it's actually uh, me that's funding it. Um, it, it's, it's just a, a, a different, uh, I guess, mindset in that, uh, you, you're doing it for uh, yourself and the community instead of just for somebody else, the company. So, um, do you have a mentor or a coach that's helping you through this? Uh, yes. Uh, the Lime community is actually very thorough. Um, so I, I communicate with the corporation, uh, themselves, the Lime, uh, the head of Lyme in, in Denver. Uh, and then also they have a, a good network of mentors through uh, the franchisees. So we, we should have a call and then I have the ability to talk to them uh, whenever I have a question or need or experience. Uh, they're very fast to, to help out and explain the process and how they handled it and, and uh, how to move forward. Now, uh, is there any moment so far that uh, has been rewarding that you've you've kind of got that uh, goosebump feeling like, Hey, we're on the right path. This is something that's really going to be good for us and the community. Um, yeah. When we hired our first employee and we came back from training and, and uh, she went out the, the first day and, and got a couple of uh, prospects uh, that, that was very rewarding just to see her uh, to grow and get to that point where she's able to do it by herself and, and, and manage the process. So that was very rewarding. Now, you mentioned you were the first Lyme in uh, Georgia. Is it something that you're trying to build a Lyme em empire throughout Georgia? Is that the intention or is this kind of a business for you in the in the area that you're living right now? Um, it would be nice to build a Lyme empire. Uh, it, it's going to take some time and, and uh, you know, of course, building the reputation. Um, it, it's kind of curious. Uh, some of the people I went to training with, they were in Texas and it, my 
my territories, I have three territories here in Georgia. My three territories fit in one of their territories. So Atlanta is very dense in, t- in terms of population. So it, w- it would take a lot to to get us to, to grow phenomenally. <laughs> it's going to take some time. So now what is the kind of pain your customer is feeling right now where Lime is the right solution? Uh, well, we, we usually focused on, on, uh, uh, the higher end, uh, we're, we're not, uh, usually going out for, uh, just any paint job. We're, we're, we're very custom painters. So we're, we're usually looking, uh, 500,000 and above, uh, we're very quality based. Uh, so we're not just going to go out there and, and paint something and not prepare the surfaces. Uh, we're going to make sure it's, uh, prepped right, uh, that there, there's a solid substrate and that we can, uh, paint it and make it look phenomenal. Uh, so some people get picky, but we, we explain the value in that, that if you want it to last and look good for a long time, uh, this is the process. And it's, it's sometimes it's not going to be, uh, you know, your basic paint job. So now is this paint job, is it the whole exterior of the house? Is it the whole interior of the house? Could it be just one room? Like what is the typical sure. job? Uh, yeah, typically uh, in painting, uh, Usually you, you start on exteriors because those are the easiest to do. Uh, and you only have a certain amount of time based on the weather. Uh, but we also do interiors as well. We also do cabinets, um, custom surfaces. Uh, it just depends on the job. So you'll quote, if anybody has any painting need, you'll have a conversation with them, right? Correct. Yes. And if somebody wanted to have that uh, more substantive conversation with you or somebody on the team, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Uh, the best way is to call us. Um, uh, best way is to be 470-468-5599 would be the best way. And then the, is there a website for Lime? Yes. Uh, we're www.limepaintingofatlanta.com. And then if they went to limepainting.com, they can find you through that uh, and dr- drill down to your location as well? Yes. Uh, the limepainting.com would actually go to the one in Denver, but if they put in their zip code or anything like that, it would route back to us. Well, Andrew, congratulations on all the success. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, all right. So uh, one more time, the uh, website for Lime? It's uh, limepaintingofatlanta.com. It's limepaintingofatlanta.com. Correct. All right. Andrew Talby, Lime Painting, thank you for sharing your story today. All right. Thank you. All right. This is Lee Cantor. We'll see you all next time on Atlanta Business Radio.